What's up guys? I decided that this summer I'm going to do something that I have been wanting to do for a while and that's give out some travel tips. I have been traveling every summer for the past three years. This summer, um, today is June 1st and I literally start June 1st until September 3rd of traveling um, all over the place speaking at district opening days and at professional development. So I've developed and found some great ways to travel and great ways to save money and who doesn't want to save money. So I thought I would offer that out as a YouTube series. I hope that you'll watch this. I hope that you'll share it. Um, share it out on your Facebook pages. Um, copy the link. Um, and uh, put some comments um, in um, uh, the comment section if you've got any great ideas for traveling. So I just want to share with you some of the things that I have learned um, uh, as uh, I travel on saving money and some tips. And today I want to specifically talk about hotels. Um, there's some great ways that you can save money on hotels and I want to share those out with you. So the first thing I want to talk about is Priceline. Priceline is your friend. Um, I absolutely use Priceline on a regular basis. You can talk about all the other ones. But the bottom line is I've been doing this for three years now and there is no other app that saves more money than on Priceline. And so check out Priceline. Um, uh, a couple of different features that you can do when you go to an area, let's say you put Knoxville, Tennessee, it's gonna give you all the hotels. So you can look at those hotels, you can look at those prices. Um, if a hotel has a really high price, then you know that it's got some kind of conference at it and there's no need to even try to get there. And that will help you, even if you're only using Priceline as a search tool, it's gonna help you to know that we don't need to look at the Marriott because the Marriott is $200 on Priceline, it's definitely going to be that way um, on the brand um, uh, uh, websites. So check out Priceline. They are always $30, $40, $50 cheaper. Um, when you click um, to pay, they add a little bit of money in there. So if it says it's going to be $75, it's probably going to be $100. Um, but check out Priceline. It is great. Now here's one of the problems with using Priceline. Um, uh, the, they don't let you get your money back. So if you're traveling somewhere and you get stuck and you get in a layover, you don't want to use a, a Priceline for that day because if you get stuck somewhere, Priceline is not going to return your money. Once you push pay, 90% um, of the hotel rooms you pay for. Now, due to COVID, um, they have come up with some um, uh, uh, refunds and you can get your money back. But Priceline is great for a cheap hotel where you know you're absolutely going to be. So check out Priceline. They've got more than just hotels. They um, have resorts in there. They even have some people that are, um, uh, from Airbnb that are on there. So your first line of cheapness for a hotel is to check out Priceline. But if you think for any reason you're going to have to cancel, you got to be very careful with that. Now here's another thing too. Um, uh, people, I like to get my Marriott points and my Hilton points, um, but literally Priceline is usually $30 or $40 cheaper. One of the things that you can do is go in and get your price on Priceline and actually call that hotel. Um, each of the hotels has a way that you can actually ask for that price, but it's a ridiculous thing. Um, with Marriott, you got to fill out a form, you got to send it in, and then they will check and see if they want to match that price. So they're going to claim they will match the prices, but it's this big, huge, drawn out process. But you can actually call the manager and say, Say, hey, I'm coming um, into Nashville and I've got this price line um, price of $105. Your hotel is saying $150. Would you match that? If you got a good manager, they're going to match that because here's the reason why. Price line keeps half the money and gives the hotels half the money. So a lot of times if you call and speak to a manager specifically, they will give you the price line um, uh, cost. So check out price line, check with the cost, um, uh, call the hotels directly. Now you're not going to get any kind of points whatsoever because you're using a third party. And so they'll say, you're using a third party. Um, uh, I like to book directly with uh, Marriott and Hilton if I can. I would highly suggest that you join um, uh, those um, clubs um, because they give you benefits um, even when you're checking in. Sometimes you get free internet. Sometimes you get an extended um, checkout. So join those if you're traveling. So the first thing I would say is check out Priceline. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, the next thing I want to uh, remind you of that you may not know is all of the hotel brands have these new hip hotels. Um, they're not new. They're probably five and six and seven years old. But all of them have been trying to cater to hip people like college people. Um, and each of the lines has a specific hotel brand. And here's why I love to stay at them. They're usually the least expensive in the hotel brand and they're the newest. These are all new hotels. So Hilton has True, T-R-U. They dropped the E. Isn't that hip? Uh, Best Western has Glow, G-L-O. I love the Best Western ones. Now, I generally do not stay at a Best Western because I it's a Best Western. And they're just usually not good um, hotels. But the Best Western Glows, G-L-O, are brand new hotels. And they're usually the cheapest. Um, and then Marriott has a loft, A-L-O-F-T. -A -A um, uh, True... Uh, glow, Aloft. These are like the hipster hotels. It's like Ikea. 
And when you go in, you get, it looks like Ikea furniture. They're usually the least expensive hotels in that brand, and they're always new hotels. So don't shy away from a, um, a brand when you go on there, but if they've dropped a, a vow or dropped the last letter, last letter, they're trying to be hip, and they're trying to compete in this hip brand of hotels. And so um, Aloft and True and Glow, those are usually less expensive, um, but they're Hilton and they're Marriott, so check those out. And the last thing I want to say about a hotel um, that's great is check the breakfast. If you are a family, um, uh, and you, even if you had to pay a little bit more for a hotel that has free breakfast, it's worth it. Family of five, even eating at McDonald's, it's going to cost you $25, $30. Bucks. Um, uh, and most of the hotels will have a free breakfast. The higher ends have the charging ones. You stay at a higher end Marriott, it's probably not free, um, but um, Holiday Inn Express, uh, usually um, uh, the Best Westerns, um, Fairfield Inns, um, they have breakfast. And you can, as you, as you get used to these, you'll know that some of them don't have free breakfast. Courtyards don't have free breakfast. But go on Priceline and check it out and use it as a tool and read the description. One of the easiest ways that you can um, uh, save money is by staying in a hotel that gets free breakfast. Generally, it's a lower, it's not a, one of the higher end um, uh, ones because they have full service restaurants, but it really saves a lot of money if you're gonna get free breakfast um, for five people. And you can also grab a banana or an apple uh, for a snack later. Um, so check out Priceline, check out the new hip hotels with Glow and True and Aloft, uh, check out those prices and try to find a hotel that offers free breakfast. The majority of them are. Um, uh, so hopefully this will save you a little bit of money. Um, uh, put some comments in here about some ways that you save money on hotels. I'm always going to do a follow-up on those. I hope that you like this. Um, uh, I'm going to encourage you to share these. So share it on your Facebook, share it on your Instagram, uh, just share the link on there. Hopefully we'll be able to save some money and have some great um, summer travel. Thanks for watching.